Uh, when we talked to to Jared on Saturday, he said having you come in at the same time, being a roommate, that helped the transition a lot easier. Is that the same for you? Oh, absolutely. I mean, it's key that uh, we have two like-minded people in the same exact room, uh, eat, breathe, sleep football. So uh, we got the same mindset on everything, which is awesome. Um, got the same exact schedule, which is which is a plus too. He's been awesome so far. He's the man. Uh, I love him to death. Uh, I do anything for him, and uh, he's been awesome so far. How's the adjustment been, just to the the reps, of the amount of reps you're getting in practice, and even the amount of catches and that kind of thing that you're getting in practice versus maybe what you, you did at UConn? Yeah, this is this. As you guys can see, the practices are pretty up tempo, so uh, you got to get in shape a little bit. In the first couple of days, I think people uh, realize that practices are going to be a little bit faster, and we're going to get ton of reps and it's a good thing because we're just getting more reps every single day and uh, it's been awesome to get the most reps we can possibly get. You have kind of a hodgepodge of guys behind you that played other positions before. How much do you take kind of that leadership role on in terms of developing them and that yeah, kind of thing? Absolutely. That was one of the reasons why I came here is to be able to uh, set a good standard for the tight ends, set a good example for these guys. Hopefully I'm doing everything that I can. They're a bright group of guys and uh, I love them to death. I mean, I do anything for them. They're working their tails off every single day, and I appreciate that for them. And uh, I go to war with them every, every, any other day, every in, day. In making the decision to come to Georgia Tech after you graduated at UConn, beyond the ability to be a leader because everybody's new at tight end here, what else appealed to you? Did uh, you know much about Temple, them being in your conference and so forth? Uh, I knew about Temple when I had to play them every year. You know that when you were going to play at Coach Collins' team, that was going to be a, a tough-nosed game and that they were going to come out and they were going to smack you in the mouth. So um, that's just the kind of culture that Coach Collins developed at the last place that he's at. So I knew it was going to be a similar type deal here, and that's something that I always love to do. So why not be part of it? It was an awesome opportunity for me. Do you enjoy how they use you in offense? It seems like you're all over the field, flexed out, HVAC, tight end, on the slot, all, all the different th different ways you can use a tight end. They've tried you yeah. this spring. Is that kind of fun for you at this yeah, point? Yeah, I love it. I mean, I'll play anywhere. I'm a little jealous that Coach Collins hasn't thrown me a defense yet. He's thrown other <laughs> guys there, but uh, I'm waiting for my day. But uh, hopefully that will come, so I'll play anywhere. So it's been awesome. Have there been things like in, things that, like the other guys have asked you about playing a position? Or, or you're showing them something that make you realize, wow, we really are kind of starting from, from ground zero here? Um, I think maybe at the beginning, yeah. but these guys pick up things really quick. Um, they want to work, they want to come in on the off days, they want to do stuff uh, when it's not mandatory. Right. So I think that's key to uh, building steps to become a good uh, tight end group. Right. Are you going to carry the TD over into the fall? <laughs> I kind of uh, just saw it in my locker one day. I didn't even know that it was coming, but I was jacked up when I saw it. Uh, Coach Collins is the man. I appreciate him for that. It's pretty cool.